Good morning. This is JHS Weekly. I'm Miles Griffith. And I'm Braden Dick. While you might see interesting things all the time here at JHS, it's not every day you run into a politician. Missouri Governor Mike Parson toured FTC on October 6th. JHD reporter Alex Carson brings us this story. It's not every day that Joplin High School gets a visit from the state's top official. Last week, Missouri Governor Mike Parson got a first-hand look at why JHS is what Principal Dr. Stephen Gilbreth calls the greatest high school in the universe. To get a better understanding of Missouri's career technical education programs, the governor is touring schools throughout the state, including Joplin's own Franklin Technology Center. And when you come in these school systems, you see they're buying in totally to make sure whether it's health care, whether it's nurses, whether it's business models, whether it's IT, whether it's welding. I mean, just up and down the scale of the workforce they're doing it here. So. I yeah, couldn't be more proud of what I've seen here today. After seeing FTC's programs like construction, child care, and even the coffee shop, Governor Parson says he was impressed. It was the first time I'd been here, and the Franklin Technology Center was definitely very impressive. And then just Joplin High School itself. Uh, it's the first time I've been able to visit the school and just to see how modern it is and how impressive it is and how large it is. Various students highlighted the FTC programs, and student body president Amy Richmond Bennett, along with FFA chapter president Wyatt Hensley, showed the governor around. Bennett says it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It was a great opportunity, something I didn't really think I'd do at 18 years old. Um, it was nice to talk to him. Bennett feels that the tour was not only beneficial for the school, but to the students who got to meet him. It gives a great opportunity to the students to see that there's other things out there. They're not just smaller, they can be a part of the community and maybe even take that job or other government jobs in the area. While the facilities might have been impressive, Governor Parson feels it was the students who made the best impressions. I'm just excited when I listen to them and I understand that they understand what it's going to be like to be a young adult before long. I think that's one of the most impressive things I get out of these kids. You know, sometimes uh, I think I'm as kids, but when you really talk to them and you realize they understand what they have to do. A great opportunity to showcase the school and send some Joplin pride back to Jefferson City. Reporting for Jet HD, this is Alex Carson. Interested in traveling to Japan? You want Mr. Burnside or go to the informational meeting Tuesday the 18th at 6 p.m. in room B317 to find out more. In school, have you ever wanted to a quick drink that wasn't from a vending machine? Well, JHD's Andrew Myers takes us to the coffee shop within the walls of Joplin High School, where a shot of caffeine can get you through your 7th hour class. Every day, students line up to get drinks, not just from Starbucks or 7 Brew, but a coffee shop tucked into Eagle Alley at Joplin High School. This coffee shop, known as JoJo's, is operated by students for the students. Marley Black works at JoJo's and she says this shop is great. I mean it gives everyone like a cheap option of beverages and it ranges from coffees to teas and lemonade so I think it's a nice little extra thing. And she says the shop has taught her some lessons she couldn't learn from a book. Um, it's definitely taught me how to like deal with people and work with money and yeah stuff like that. The coffee shop program is part of the business classes. Lindsay DeWelt is the teacher in charge of it, and she says it's a great opportunity that not many schools have. Uh, the coffee shop gives students real life experiences, so they learn how to run their own business, they learn customer service skills, they learn marketing skills, like how to set promotions that students will actually want to buy, and it's just good experience for life. So, if you're ever sleep deprived and need a quick hit of caffeine, JoJo's is your place to go. Reporting for JetHD, I'm Andrew Myers. In a couple of weeks, you'll be getting ready to go trick or treating. JetHD's Gavin Hollingshead asks students what is the worst thing they've received for Halloween. Today, we're hitting the halls of JHS to find out what's the worst thing some of the students have received for Halloween. And, like, there was literally a razor blade in the candy. I'd say an almond joy. Oh, but like the worst candy ever? Yeah, almond, almond joy. <laughs> a burrito. Probably just a ketchup packet. <laughs> Someone gave me baby carrots, but they were warm. They were warm baby carrots. They weren't even in the package. They just put them in my bag. 
Uh, Heath bar. An apple, but like it was soft, and I punched my thumb through it, and it was just brown on the inside, soft and brown. Toothbrush. Some yeah. This one time, this kid like spit out their chocolate into my hand, and I took it because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this has been JHS Weekly. Thanks for watching.